What are his post-presidential options when it comes to his various businesses? Well, he's, he's got a lot of options ahead of him. I mean, he's, he obviously has the real estate company that sort of made him a famous figure. Um, according to Bloomberg data, he was worth about $3 billion when he came into the office uh, of the presidency. He's worth about $500 million less as he leaves. It's obviously not a great time to be in real estate, either commercial or residential in New York City. Um, it's not a great time to be in the tourism business. So owning hotels and golf courses, um, you know, is maybe not exactly the portfolio you'd want to have right at the moment. But he does have valuable assets. And he also has, uh, you know, he has the benefit of lenders who are not necessarily looking to foreclose on properties that are going to be unable to make a lot of money in the very near term. But he has other options as well. I mean, he's talked about potentially forming uh, a network that would compete with Fox News, which he has constantly criticized for not being conservative enough. Mm -hmm. um, we've heard him potentially talk about forming some sort of new social media venture. So after he was banned from Twitter and uh, blocked from Facebook, you know, could he come up with something that competes with uh, either of those? you know, in terms of, of having a followers. I mean, again, he had 88 million people following him on Twitter. Yeah. If there's a way to figure out how you monetize those followers, um, that will be a, a very nice financial situation to be in. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.